Hi boys and girls, today we are going to read The Grouchy Ladybug. And this book is written by Eric Carroll. Carl. This is an awesome story. And let's get started. Let's look at the cover real fast though. Look how beautiful this is drawn, this beautiful little ladybug. Let's read about her. She seems very grouchy there though, doesn't she? Look at that frown right there upside down. Hmm. Let's get started. Look at how beautiful that is. Let's read it. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. Look at those beautiful fireflies and look at that moon and they're on that beautiful green leaf. Have any of you ever caught a firefly outside? Mrs. Crothers, when she was a little girl, used to catch them in little jars and watch them light up at night, and then I would let them go. I used to love fireflies. Yeah. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly lady bug, bug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It's too, it too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. So if you look closely, boys and girls, on this leaf right here, there are little tiny black buds that are also eating this leaf. And so, the ladybug on the right and the ladybug on the left are eating, are coming in to eat those little ap aphids, which are those tiny black buds that are eating the actual leaf. So the ladybugs are coming in to eat the black bugs on the leaf and the black bugs on the leaf are actually eating the leaf. So there they are. This is a big book, so bear with Mrs. Carruthers as we figure out how to hold this. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the lady grouchy bug. Lady, the grouchy ladybug, I'm sorry. Or do you want to fight me for them? Oh no. If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked it looked the other bug straight in the eye and the grouchy ladybug bug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew away. All right, so there's the mean grouchy ladybug. And there's the nice ladybug. And there, look at all those aphids that are on that leaf. I think there are plenty of aphids on that leaf for the two of them to share. Boys and girls, is the grouchy ladybug being kind and encouraging and lifting each other up with their words, with his words? No, he is not. He's being selfish. And another word for selfish is greedy. And that's what he's doing. Now here's a cool way to look at, look at this book right here. It has a whole bunch of little flaps. So it's gonna take us a while to go through it. And at the top, there is a clock. There is a bunch of clock. So let's talk about that. At six o'clock, right there, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Um, look at the size of the ladybug versus that yellow jacket and look at that stinger. Do you think in a fight that the yellow jacket would lose to the ladybug? No. That, that yellow jacket would definitely destroy that ladybug. And that ladybug knew that. And he was picking a fight. Or she was picking a fight. 
and she got scared and flew off. She is messing with the wrong bug there. Look at that stinger. Mrs. Feathers does not like yellow jackets. Let's go on. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaw. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. She got scared again. She better be careful. Uh-oh. At eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. At eight o'clock, it came across a prying, praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Ooh, praying mantis. Those are creepy. At nine o'clock. Now we're at nine o'clock. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. I wonder what's going on with this grouchy ladybug. What's wrong with her? Why is she picking so many fights with her friends? That is so not kind. Do you think your friends would wanna be friends with you on the playground if that's all you wanted to do was fight and argue? No, they wouldn't. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching his claws. Everyone say this with Mrs. Crothers. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. There she is flying off. Look how much bigger that lobster is to that tiny little ladybug. Goodness gracious. Let's look at the clock. It's 11 o'clock. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Say this with me, boys and girls. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Say this with me, boys and girls. Oh, you're not big enough. And the grouchy ladybug flew off. Ooh, do you want to fight with a skunk? Stinky, stinky. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, the grouchy ladybug said and flew off. Ooh, look at that big old snake. It has its eyes on something up there already. What is that? It looks like a squirrel. And there's the ladybug. It's going to eat that squirrel for lunch and then come and get the ladybug. <laughs> Better get out of there. Ooh, what is that? At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, <laughs> laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Ready, boys and girls, say this with me. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. What do we have here? At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Say this with me, boys and girls. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. Look how small that ladybug is to that big old gorilla. Whew.
I wouldn't mess with a gorilla, would you? Whoa, look how big this rhino is. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering his horn. Ready, boys and girls? Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Can you guys even see where the grouchy ladybug is? She is all the way over there. And look how big he is. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you! said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising his trunk and showing its big tusk. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. All right, can you find where the ladybug is on the picture? If you said she's all the way over here by its tusk, you are correct. Look how little she is compared to the rest of that elephant. My goodness. All right, what is that, boys and girls? At five o'clock, here's our clock still. Five o'clock. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? But the whale did not have an answer at all. Let's see what the late member, let's say this together, boys and girls. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Look how beautiful that big blue whale was. Uh-oh. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said, one of the, said to one of the whale's flippers, hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. And there's the flipper. Look how big it is. And there, all the way at the very, very, very top, is the grouchy ladybug. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on and there's the fin and the grouchy ladybug is at the top let's look at the clock can you even guess what time it is it's a quarter to six the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail hey you want to fight and the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug a slap and it slapped the ladybug that flew across the, across the, flew across the sea and across the land. There she goes. He flipped her. She's right there and now she's flying all the way, all the way. Where is she going to land? There she is, flying, 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 flying. <gasps> Let's see where she ends up. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. And there they are. And she said, you're welcome. There's the grouchy ladybug. She said, thank you. And the nice ladybug said, you're welcome. And there are the outfits still on the leaf. Being eaten by the ladybugs. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. 
the fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance again around the moon. Boys and girls, do you see how the Lord has created such a perfect world? He knew that if the aphids didn't eat these leaves, then there would be too many trees around the world and too many leaves. And so he created the ladybugs to help eat the aphids, to help keep the leaves to continue growing. But if we didn't have the ladybugs to eat the aphids, then there would be too many aphids eating the leaves and we, would, we wouldn't have any leaves at all. And if we didn't have the aphids, then we would have too many greens. And then the ladybugs would have nothing to eat too. So God created this perfect cycle of life that keeps things growing and keeps um, things from overgrowing. So God has created this perfect, perfect world. All right, boys and girls. This story was called The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. See you tomorrow.